this is Matt from the Admin Bar. So we've had a lot of people asking um, how we set up OBS for our, uh, our live streams. So I figured we're going live a little bit later today, so I'll, uh, I'll record the process and try to explain things. Um, I know I'm not going to cover absolutely everything, so um, if anybody has any questions, don't hesitate to reach out and ask. Uh, so what we're looking at now is OBS the way that I've got it set up. Um, I've got these pieces down here. Uh, the two that we use are these guys here, the going live slate when uh, we're prepping, and then the background slate, whichever one we end up using. And this is from uh, last week's episode. So the first thing you want to do is create the new slate, which we are uh, we're doing now. So today we have a new guest on. And then the show title. And we'll save this um, under slates, shows, episode five. And I save these out as JPEGs, and we'll just uh, slap that right on. But color because it's all going to be recorded anyway. So then you hop back into OBS here and we're going to swap out this uh, background slate. So double click that. Here's the, uh, the path and we will find the new one right there. Okay. So now you've got your background slate all set up. Um, I guess because we won't be going live while I'm doing this video, um, I will show you the, uh, the settings that you're going to need to, uh, to take into consideration, which would be your streaming. So for service, um, they've got a bunch already. You would pick Facebook Live if you're going to Facebook. Um, when you do log into Facebook and you hit Live, um, there's two options. There's one that uh, is local and then one that you can stream from. And the, uh, the one that you stream from, they'll give you a stream key. Input it right here. Hit apply, okay, and then you're ready to roll. So you can stream and record at the same time, which is very cool. <clears throat> um, there's also uh, like minimal um, like transitions as well. So if you've got the going live slate active, you can hit studio mode. Um, this is what's current and this is what it, it's gonna turn into. So if we turn this off, well, other way around, my mistake. So if we turn this off, um, and hit transition, it's just going to like fade into uh, to the next. So if you want a little bit more prod uh, production, it's a good way to do that without having to, uh, to worry about editing later. Um, moving forward, turn studio mode off. Um, we're going we're gonna to need to place uh, video feeds here. Um, I don't have the video feeds available because we're not quite there yet. Um, however, I'll show you the uh, the principle of doing so. I've got um, let's see. Oh, I've got Facebook open, so we'll just pretend that uh, we're just going to snag some pieces from that. So you would do um, new window capture, then label it whatever you'd like. I'm just going to keep it as window capture for now, and it's going to ask what window you want to mirror. So we're going to find Firefox. So this is the whole window, obviously not what we want. So let's pretend that, um, that this admin bar post is, uh, is the video feed that we want to grab. Now you can mirror the same uh, window uh, multiple times, which is how we do it. So we have uh, a Zoom conference call with all of, the, all of us participating in some sort of a grid and I'll, uh, I'll use that window capture three, four times, like how, however many people we have, um, we just capture the same window and then resize these as needed. So to do that, I'm going to hit OK. Now you've got this whole big, big thing that you can resize, um, but if this is just the piece that you want, you can hold Alt and 
drop it all down. And you can be as exact as you want. Then you can move it. And then when you scale it, it will fit. Just like that. So if we wanted to do another one, you can actually just add another window capture. Window capture 2. Capture the same window again. Uh, this time, let's, uh, let's take this bottom post here. Say OK. So we'll, uh, we'll pretend this is the, uh, the second video feed. Hold Alt again. And just drag down to the piece you want to capture. Drag it where you need it to go. And resize as needed. And now you've got your two uh, video feeds. You've got these two here. And uh, similar to any sort of design program, these are all layers. So these two can probably go behind the going live slate. So just drag those down. And there you go. That's uh, pretty much everything that uh, I think we need to cover. If anybody has any questions, like I said, please ask. Um, I know I didn't cover everything, but uh, I think we're good. All right. Take care, everybody.